Hello, hello everybody. Welcome back to Silly Goose Gaming. Today, we're going to be playing none other than, well, it's actually pretty easy to remember. His name is, uh, well, it's Rocket. And as you can tell from the projectiles I'm shooting out right now, his main ability is shooting rockets. Before we hop into the video, let's go over the abilities really quickly. Of course, you have the M1, which you're going to shoot one singular rocket uh, with a total of four, and then he has to reload. Um, his M2 is linked to his Q, uh, which I'll show you in a second. And then his E is whenever you fire all four rockets with an instant reload, and you can do some pretty crispy damage. Now, back to his Q. So you're going to throw his Q, so C4, and if you go and you jump on top of it and blow it up with your M2, you can kind of get some height. Now, the only issue is you do take fall damage. You have to be a little bit careful. But there's a certain build I want to go for today, which today is not really a build uh, oriented video. It's more oriented around rockets. But it'll be really fun. And it'll be kind of funny how, well, you could just kind of see how this guy can scale pretty quickly. Now, he has really good damage and it is hit scan. So the projectiles aren't going to drop off over range. So you can pretty much snipe at this guy if you can lead your shots well enough. Now, to make this rocket jumper really good, there's a special item that I'm going to need. And um, unless we are confirmed to get a red, I'm going to go ahead and bet that we're probably going to have to just stack regenerating scraps and do it the old-fashioned way. I had a dream last night. There was, like, this item that was unreleased from Risk of Rain. Like, it was there, and I remember playing with it. It, it was never in Risk of Rain, just by the way. But um, for some reason, I had convinced myself that it was a real thing. And when I woke up, I was like, I'm going to do a video about that today and it wasn't even an item i don't know what's wrong with me now basically how this is going to work today obviously we're going to have a couple atg missiles but our biggest damage is going to come from something that we're going to get out of the bazaar between time and i'll show you what that is in just a second uh once we get five regenerating scraps we can hop in there and go ahead and purchase it i'm actually really happy with this guy he's he has a great mixture of mobility and damage and it feels really, really smooth to play. This guy could definitely be a character in Risk of Rain. And I wish that Risk of Rain would kind of acknowledge these mod makers and help support them a little bit. I feel like it would be really, really helpful for the entire community. And, I mean, everything's already made. I mean, I don't understand how game design works or game creation works. So, don't take my word for it. But I think it'd be really cool. So, we went ahead and got the new portal. So, now, as long as we can get couple of green items if we get four green items preferably nine which is a lot to get but uh we can get this guy doing some crispy crispy damage now i do want to get some faster attack speed because it not only affects how fast we fire but it also affects how fast we reload because uh the soldier syringes not only scales attack speed but any animations that have to play to do an attack Whee! Now, I just picked up another key part of this build, uh, if you want to call it the Missile Launcher build. And this is called the Disposal Missile Launcher. You'll see again in a second what I mean. Because right now, if I fire it, you can see it's shooting out, you know, a lot of missiles. Now, don't get me wrong, it's a lot of missiles. And most of the time, that's enough to do, you know, just plentiful uh, amounts of damage. But I'll show you in just a second what I mean by... Uh, absolutely crazy missile launcher if you're looking at my items don't worry about why i have 11 crit goggles i uh i'm stupid and i don't really want to feel like waiting around for any much longer so what we're going to do is we're going to go to the teleporter. If we get some more items, that'd be great. But if not, I'm not going to worry about it. Bing, bing. <laughs> this guy's so much fun to play. Okay, so now we're going to hop into here. And I'm going to show you what my plan is. It's a pretty special plan that I was actually researching. And I found out that it actually works this way. Let's just say it takes this guy to a whole another level. Okay, so if you see here, we can get a red item for our... We're generating scraps now i'm gonna go ahead and buy one as of right now there's a certain item that adds two more missiles per projectile on any uh missile based move so what does that mean it means whenever i shoot like this after picking up this item i shoot like this 
And that's pretty crazy. Now, sadly enough, the C4 isn't multiplied, but you don't really need it. Now, we can make this one step more crazy by buying one of these Lunar Pods and selecting the Jester of the Drown. Now, when I pick this up, it's going to rain uh, missiles on this guy, so he's going to get pretty upset. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to purchase a couple of them and uh, pick them all up at the relatively same time so I can get more and more Jester of the Drowned. You'll see in a second. I didn't mean to get that one, but that's okay. One, two, three, and four. Uh, you see as this, the stack, the cooldown reduction is on 69.26%, which has a 13 second cooldown on my disposable missile launchers. You're like, okay, that's cool. Whatever. You have a lot of missiles firing out, but you don't understand. It's no longer one missile firing out, right, at a time. It's, it's no longer that. As you can see, it is firing out three missiles at a time. Now, you're wondering, uh, how do you make that more crazy? Because that seems pretty crazy. Don't get me wrong, especially when you're in game fighting people. That seems pretty crazy. How do you make it more crazy? It's a simple item called the fuel cell. Now, let me show you what I mean. Okay, obviously, there you go. You can just see them all tracking down one enemy. That poor guy's gonna have a bad day. Oh, sorry. And it also multiplies ATG missiles. So now we're firing three ATG missiles at a time on top of the three we're firing from our gun. On top of the 100, we're firing from our backpack. So here you go. You've got a fuel cell. Not only does it give us another charge, but it just increases us two more seconds off of our cooldown. Again, we're going to keep grabbing fuel cells, which are going to decrease it down to 9.98 seconds. So, uh, that's pretty good. But the goal here is to get it so it's an instant cooldown, right? So, with four just for the drowns and, uh, a couple of fuel cells, we should be good. You could technically make this more and more crazy by getting shaved glass, but I don't really necessarily want to lose my health that bad. <laughs> I like having health, so I'm not going to worry about it too, too much. And a buffer Oh, growth tender. Nice. Uh, you can see... Uh, it's not even really a challenge, not really even a issue here. Now this is a build that really deserves on video, but I decided to kind of group it together with Rocket because, uh, well, it's just kind of insane. I mean, the Jester of the Drown can make it pretty much any build insane. As you can see, fire out all these missiles, and especially when I shoot, it's, uh, it's pretty much game over. And just like that, we're on Sky Meadows. This actually looks like a normal map now because of the coloring. And we're going to go ahead and start the last teleporter and uh, keep it moving. I don't really want to stay around here too long. And, uh, well, he's dead. So, there you go. Okay, and we've done a few of the pillars now. We're going to go ahead and smack these into here. Or just one. I'm not going to risk losing any of our good items here. Now, we can do this and it'll increase our damage. But I don't really want to do that. I want to go for uh, this. And now all of our attacks will also explode in a 4 meter radius. With a bonus 60 percent damage i think that's actually better than stacking it for now of course if we were going to loop and continuously do this we would just spam the crap out of those pocket icbms and it would probably be pretty good and there's the last pillar and that basically means we're good to go unless i get another green item here if i do i'm gonna go ahead and stay up around and huh, try to go for another item and we were able to get another item. So we're going to go back over there and buy another item. I don't really know what to get. I think maybe the, um, maybe alien head will be really good. Because that will reduce all of our cooldowns, right? Including, including this one. Let's see what we should get here. Um, yeah, let's go for alien head. We can almost consistently stay in the air. It's not a hundred percent there. And these hoopah feathers are helping me stay in the air for longer. But we can just about do it consistently. All right, here we go. Let's see how fast we can uh, take this guy down here. So here he is, and you can see that the things might... Yep, you can see him. They're automatically tracking him. And just like that... Oh. Holy crap. Holy crap, we do so much damage. Look at his health. Look at his health. Oh, my gosh. Okay. Well, there's phase one down. And the Chimera are not going to be an issue at all. Look at that army of... Army of missiles just tracking it. I feel bad for that guy. I really do. All right, and do stage. Is it stage three or or stage two? Stage two. And wow! Oh my gosh! I wasn't able to cheese it, which does kind of suck. You can see the uh, cooldown there is a little bit glitched out still. But uh, there we go. Very good. Um, yeah, obviously this. Bit. This guy is not always going to be this overpowered just because uh, we get went ahead and built a pretty overpowered rocket build um, based around him. But he's a lot of fun to play and I highly recommend it. 
huge shout out to the mod creators um the link to this mod will be in the description if you are interested to play it and uh with that being said let's go ahead and escape the moon now like i said before the mod will be in the description below if you're interested and um yeah it's been a lot of fun playing mr rocket i've i've thoroughly enjoyed my time and let's see how much damage you dealt so 717,000 damage is a lot of damage obviously if we stuck around on the stage for a little bit longer it would be higher but uh we had a, pre it was a pretty fast run 27 minutes and if you've been enjoying the content i've been pushing out recently make sure to hit that like button leave a comment on what you want to see next and hit the subscribe button and turn on that little bell icon so you can know exactly when i post with that being said if you have any other ideas feel free to let me know i'll test them out for you and um i'll see you guys next time thank you bye bye